When I got accepted for the scholarship program through the military, I was scared because I never want to shoot anyone. I never want to hurt anyone. I hear about the fear of you know, being drafted and relocated to a different country and all these things seem very scary. But at the end of the day, I ask myself, how am I going to pay for a school? And can I serve our country in a certain way? And the answer was yes and yes. So I had to push my fears aside and really dive in. And I really did it just for the money and for the scholarship to pay for it. But at the end of the day, after my four years, I fell in love with it. It provided me the opportunity to serve our country, to pay for my school, and also gave me an opportunity to serve abroad. Give us a three, two, one. Three, two, one. Great. I'm Andrew Vo, and I'm currently a pediatric dentist. I served in the United States Army for four years to help pay for dental school. My parents immigrated from Vietnam during the Vietnam War, so we didn't have much growing up. We were considered lower class. My mother and her 11 siblings lived in one apartment with one room and one bathroom. My mother sacrificed her whole life for her children. Coming from Vietnam to the United States, her number one goal is to make sure that her kids are successful. So for me, seeing my mom struggle every single day, I made it a goal to educate myself to make her proud. We're gonna count your teeth, okay? Are you ready for this? One of the reasons why I became a pediatric dentist is to help those who can't be helped. And for me to get a kid out of pain or help a family, that really fulfills my life as a pediatric dentist. I really just want to take care of the kids and do the right thing for them. Say cheese again. Bye. Say cheese. One of the things I love being a pediatric dentist is being able to play with the kids and being a big kid myself, I just want to be who I am and be authentic and I think that's very relatable to kids. The range for a pediatric dentist can range from $100,000 all the way up to $400,000 per year. So right now I am around a $200,000 range because I work as an associate for others. Dental school costs $550,000 on average. For me, that's a lot of money. I've never even seen that much money in my life. Seeing that in dental school it costs that much money, I had to figure out a way to pay for school. I had an opportunity to join the United States Army through their Health Professional Scholarship Program called HPSP, where I served four years after dental school for them to help pay for my school. Joining the United States Army through their Health Professional Scholarship Program is a no-brainer because dental school is so expensive. For each year you served in the Health Professional Scholarship Program, they pay a year for school. I paid off around $70,000 and I'm currently still paying off loans, even with the scholarship. I anticipate paying off the rest of my loans in the next year. I went to USC Dental School because it is truly the best dental school in the nation. A lot of my friends who graduated from this program are still in debt, pretty much the same amount because of the interest each year capitalizing on the original loan. A lot of dental students who are graduating from school and trying to pay it off aren't really paying off the principal, they're paying off the interest. And it's a struggle because now, being in healthcare, it's not really how much money are we making, it's more about how much money are we making to pay off our loans. So being a part of the United States Army and being a recipient of the scholarship, I'm able to save more money than my peers because I don't have to be stressed out about how much I'm making in order to pay back the student debt and the loan. I'm able to save more money at a faster pace and buy nicer things and support my family and really to support my mom. The first year I was stationed at Fort Carson, Colorado, and the remaining three years of duty service I served at Fort Irwin, California. 
being in the military and having them station me in Colorado, although it's super pretty, I miss a lot of my family members, to be honest, and I think that was the most challenging part because I was never separated from my siblings and my mom. And being spoiled in the best weather ever in California, I just miss home. Initially, I joined the military because I wanted for them to pay for my school. However, after over four years, I've met incredible people, people that sacrificed their life. And we really do have to step back and realize what we have as civilians because we say that America is free and, you know, it's a free country, but not really. After my commitment of four years in the United States Army, I decided that I wanted to be a part of it still as a civilian, so I joined the United States Reserve, where I served two weeks throughout the year. As a reservist, I will eventually serve 20 years. After 20 years, I get a pension. Shouting out orders to your city and mine. Face me. The Army showed me resilience, showed me how to be a better leader, and showing me that we're all a family. So it changed my mindset a lot. It changed that you know, I'm not really fighting for myself to survive, but it's really like if a war broke out, how am I gonna protect my country? And I'm a dentist, right? So I'm a dentist, I fix cavities, I, you know, try to get rid of the sugar bugs, but, you know, being in the army, I did serve as a dentist for four years, but I served more as a leader, and I think that's an experience that everyone should want to have. My fiance Marcus and I plan to open our own pediatric dental boutique office. Marcus and I are both pediatric dentists and we recently got engaged. <laughs> so our future plan is to get married in the next year or so. And having the scholarship really helps us save up money to do that and also open a dental practice. Marcus and I want to buy a house for right now and we're able to utilize a VA loan, which is a great loan because if you live in Orange County, it's so overly saturated in regards to pricing. People are paying $100,000 to $200,000 over asking. Before I joined the military, I was very nervous about joining because of don't ask, don't tell. And I was very scared of coming out to the military saying that I am gay. Now being a part of it, they've only embraced me with love. They do Pride Month as well in the military, really kind of shining light on love is love. And that's incredible because that's what we need each and every single day.